four pieces of AI news today. Two of them are actually on the image and video front, which I don't tend to talk about as much, but it's seen huge steps forward. Between Flux Pro, which is the first thing I want to call out, and Luma AI's Dream Machine, which is around video, you have essentially the jump to undetectable image quality on video and on photos for AI-driven content. So that means if I tell the AI to make a photo on Flux Pro in 4K, it's reasonable that 98, 99% of people are not going to notice the difference versus an actual photograph taken of a real scene. Now, if I put flying hippopotamuses in there, people are probably going to know it's AI, but if I make it a intentionally realistic looking scene, no one can tell. And that matters because anytime you get to a spot where it becomes undistinguishable versus reality, you become a conduit for misinformation. And so tools like this, super useful, super helpful, but they're gonna have a dark side as well. The other major image one is the Dream Machine released by Luma AI. I am just so impressed at the way video has evolved. I remember a year ago when I was looking at AI video and I was just kind of rolling my eyes because it wasn't close. But with Dream Machine, we're now at a point where short form video is something that is almost indistinguishable from actual video shot with professional cameras by videographers. And we're making huge strides on character persistence. So the idea that a character's face image likeness is something that could be persistent from frame to frame and you have a stable sense of character. That was also something that we didn't get a year ago and we're now making real strides on. So this is just a periodic update to basically call out that we are in a place where AI driven uh, video and image generation is on par with what you get with the physical camera in the real world except in the case of long form video. And what's interesting is this is very similar to where we're at right now with large language models and text, where short form content and factual content with a large language model is on par with what you get with all but the best writers. But long form narrative like stories or novels isn't anywhere close. And I think that's super interesting. OK, moving on to the next piece of news beyond the image world. Uh, a company called Slash Dev Slash Agents got $56 million in funding. They're founded by ex-Googlers, ex-Stripe folks, and their goal is to build the operating system for agents. And I say that, like, I don't report all of the different funding rounds, but I think this one's significant because the leadership involved and because of their focus on building essentially the infrastructure layer for agents. I think it's a really smart play and I expect that they will do well. And I think the size of the raise reflects the confidence of the investor community that this is a good spot to park cash in hopes of return. So slash dev slash agents, I would expect more from them soon. Finally, uh, the rumor is that Google's Gemini uh, LLM is going to offer a service called code base upload in December, where you are going to be able to upload a thousand files and up to a hundred, a hundred uh, megabytes, I believe of pure code. I don't know. We'll have to see kind of how that goes. Rumors are rumors, but my sense is this is a step in the direction of a longer context window. And the idea is that we want more and more to have the LLM operative across the entire code base. Now, I know some code bases get far, far, far larger than this, and uploading will not be the way to handle that. But I do think getting to a point where an LLM can reliably work across a thousand different files is a big step toward the idea of near infinite context windows, which is something that execs, uh, certainly at Microsoft and some other places have been hinting at in 2025. So we will see, but it's, a, it's an early sign from Google that we're starting to see those context windows expand. All right, well, that's your news for today. You got the images, you got the video, try and not do disinformation, guys. Um, and yeah, we'll have to see how, how the future unfolds and what tomorrow holds.